Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Now, if I go out and I look at the 60-day option contract, well, I have 60 days for this thing to get back out of the money. So in this instance, time is kind of working against me as far as the delta is concerned. Since I have so many more days left, the stock could fluctuate anywhere, and who knows where it's going to be at expiration. So the actual probability has gone up a little bit, but not as much as the one-day option contract. So once again, to get back to this, why do you think the near-term at-the-money option contract is usually the most heavily traded options? I don't know if you actually know that for sure, but, but trust me on this that it usually is. If you look at volumes, you see near-term at-the-money options usually have the most open interest and also the most volume. Uh, and part of the reason why is because of this, because it's the most explosive option. And when you're correct on your forecast, you can get the most leverage. Now, that's not always a good thing because when you're incorrect, it's going to work against you just as much as it is when you're correct. So you got to be a very good stock picker or index option picker or currency option picker um, in order to trade these type of option contracts um, because when you're correct, it's going to be it's going to work with you and give you a lot of leverage and a lot of bang for your buck. But when you're incorrect, it's going to work against you just as fast. All right. So guess what we just defined here in this slide to the nth degree. We actually define the next Greek, which is called gamma. Oh, actually, uh, I'm going to jump back one slide there then. Gamma is the amount an options theoretical options delta will change for a corresponding one point change in the price of the underlying. So let me, let me go back and talk about this slide one second. I forgot this slide was in here. But uh, I just actually put up all the, the euro options. And I went out and I just pulled some deltas just to try to show you how deltas move as they move through time. Now, everybody agree on this slide that uh, the 72 strike in the euro to U.S. dollar option, EUI, uh, is, is about at the money. It's just a little bit out of the money. Uh, we see with seven days remaining, these July calls were trading very inexpensive, as a matter of fact, at 34 cents. But the delta, since we're not quite in the money, is just below 50. The delta is 0.35. But now here, if we go on the August call, the delta is about 0.47, or 0.45. It's actually seven points larger than the delta of the 72 strike. Now, why? Because we got more time. Time is our friend in this instance. So we actually need this, since we're out of the money, we need more time, more time to help us get in the money. Now, here's the big difference, is if you get further out of the money, we look at the 74 strike, which would be a little $2.25 out of the money, the delta becomes very small. Why? What's the probability of that getting in the money? Very, very low in this instance. So a two-point move over the next seven days is not as likely as a two-point move over the next 42 days, and the delta reflects that. It reflects it in the probability. So in this instance, the delta of the option contract is 24 cents as opposed to 4 cents. Now, the exact opposite is true when we get in the money. If we look at the 70 strike call now, that means we got an August contract, more time for it to get out of the money. So our delta reflects it. So in this instance, we're in the money. We're not at expiration, so the delta is actually lower. Here we're already in the money. This delta is approaching 1 in a hurry. Uh, we're getting uh, almost one-to-one -one movement with the underlying stock. This basically says that if the July call, if uh, EUI goes from 71.75 to 72.75, that this call option will go up one dollar, or, or I'm sorry, 88 cents approximately, based on the delta. Now, don't forget that that this is just a, a, a in the theoretical world as far as what it should move theoretically. All right, so. Uh, at this point, I think all right, we're doing okay on the Q&A. So I'm going to just keep trugging along here. See, uh, let, me, let me stop and take a peek because I know that, that I might have a couple of questions. Let's see where I'm at. 
Okay, Rick Simmons. Okay, and I actually have a great, great little question from, from Rick, and, I, and I'll address this one on Delta, and then we're going to move on. And then I really want to start getting into using the Greeks in a strategy. But uh, the question from Rick uh, comes in, and he asks, uh, is there usually a variance between theoretical and actual Delta, and what factors affect this? Now, this is interesting in that actual Delta might mean uh, the, it, uh, what happens in the marketplace. So you would only know the actual delta until after the fact. It would all, only be, I, I would almost call it a historical delta, if, if I think that's what you're kind of going for, Rick. Um, and in this instance, what factors affect us? Well, everything can affect that. Uh, if you look at the delta, you can also have a swing in implied volatility that could affect how much the option moves relative to the stock. All the different variables can change, and if they're moving as the market moves, it can mean that the option will move less or more than what the delta predicts. But there's no way of knowing that, and you need to have a realistic expectation on, on what when you're starting with your option contract. So the delta in my one example on the July 70 strike is around 88 in that instance. Uh, it might move uh, 95, it might move as, as little as 80 cents, but at least you'll have a pretty good feel for approximately what your option will move relative to the stock if you look at the delta. All right, great question. Next table. All right, so I just defined the Greek, uh, the Greek gamma. And gamma is actually uh, a, a, an important option contract in that it's part of the reason why we like, we actually call delta, if delta is the rate of change, uh, gamma is the acceleration of the option contract. Yeah, it's the amount in a theoretical options delta will change for a corresponding one point change in the price of the underlying security. Now, gamma is most explosive, and we kind of demonstrated this, for the near term at the money strike. And it will slope off, it will become a smaller number as you get further out of the money and as you get further in the money. And that kind of makes sense because Delta's got to approach extremes. If you're way deep in the money, well, obviously uh, that means Delta's approaching one. So Gamma has to get small because it can't go beyond one. And if you're way out of the money, Delta's approaching zero and Gamma can't, get, can't be that big because as it approaches zero, Right? Uh, if delta, if gamma is really big, it's going to push it on below zero in that instance. So uh, uh, the most explosive options are the near-term uh, at-the-money options where you got the most potential movement in delta. And as I mentioned earlier, we actually showed this in this slide. This slide sums up gamma very well in that gamma in our one-day option contract, when the market was, when the delta was at 50 and it goes to 90, Gamma, in this instance, was uh, 50 cents. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 40 cents uh, from 50 to 90. So before this market moved, if we looked at this, we'd see delta. If we looked at our, our chain of the Greeks, we'd see the delta at 50, and right next to it, we would have seen gamma at 40. Now, 60 days remaining to expiration, um, the, we would see delta at 50, and we would have seen gamma somewhere around 10. All right, showing us that if we do get a move, this is approximately what our delta should change, knowing the explosiveness of the option contract. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.